All right, so Sing Thing has a simple two button looper right here. This looper allows you to record about 30 seconds of uh, audio and you can overdub and go from there. So there's a play record button and a stop clear button. Pretty self-explanatory. If you want to loop, you hit the record button, it flashes red. When you're done looping that recording or recording that loop, you hit it again, it goes green. Now it's playing back. Uh, if you want to do an overdub, you hit it again and it goes orange. It also says up here in the loop bar, O-dub, just to let you know that you are in fact overdubbing. When that's done, you hit it again and it goes back to green and now it's playing the overdub on top of your loop. If you want to stop, hit stop. If you want to play it again, you hit play. If you want to stop, you hit stop. If you want to erase everything that you've done, you hold down this stop clear button and it will delete that loop. So I will do a short demonstration, full disclosure, not a looping artist, so please bear with me. Uh, but I'm gonna basically start on the Barry White preset and then go to some of my other favorites and uh, you can see how you can get a little creative with it. Do, 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 do. name of this preset do, 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 do. I'm on the edge gonna turn off that harmony of gag and we'll stop it because no one needs to listen to me looping uh, so again with the looper you can loop your vocal but you can also loop your guitar your aux keys um, and how you set that up is you hold down that mix button, uh, get the loop input. Right now it's on all, but you can toggle through there using the control knob and select whichever input you want to have in that loop. So if you've got your guitar and you want your guitar and vocal to be looped, you just set that there um, and then go back to your looper. Actually, another tool that I find this to be really helpful for is if I'm songwriting and I have a chord progression that I'm playing and I just want to loop that progression and then I can Put the guitar down and just work on lyrics and melody and I can just have that playing in the background and uh, kind of vibe on it while I'm writing. So another way to use the looper. But there you have it, the uh, Sing Thing looper. Thanks for checking out this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments below. Like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.